Hello my friends! Today we'll be going over some tips to help you get a good quality night's sleep in pregnancy. If you're not already supplementing with magnesium, I would suggest talking to your care provider to see if this might be a good option for you. Magnesium has been shown to help overall with your quality of sleep. It can act as a very, very mild muscle relaxer and in that way it can be really helpful for all of the general aches and pains that you get during pregnancy. Uh, it can also be helpful if you're getting charley horses or muscle spasms at night, if that is keeping you up. Again, if it relaxes the muscle tissue and keeps it from cramping, then you won't have to be bothered with that in the middle of the night. It can also help with restless leg syndrome. So for those reasons, I always really recommend looking into supplementing with magnesium as an option. You can get magnesium in a few different forms. I like it as a topical spray that you just apply to the bottom of your feet and rub that in um, and let that absorb. You could also find it in a topical lotion or cream that might be applied to the feet and legs. That's what I've seen most commonly. I've also seen magnesium in powders and drinks and capsules. The, the Calm drinks are really popular right now and might be useful towards helping you get this restful sleep. I have also been trying to limit the amount of blue light exposure that I have at night. So I've done this by applying filters on my phone and my computer that will eliminate a portion of the blue light from the screens that I'm using already. I also bought these fantastic safety goggles on Amazon for about $3. I call these my sexy glasses. My husband loves these. But they do an excellent job of filtering the blue light with their orange lenses. And I'll put these on after about 8 p.m. when we're watching TV or other screens that don't have a direct blue filter on them. I'm someone who really takes a lot of comfort from heat, so I found that going to bed with either a heating pad or a rice sock helps me fall asleep quickly and gets rid of any aches and pains that I might be dealing with while I'm laying down to sleep or that has been bothering me during the day. If you're using an electric heating pad, you want to be sure that it has an auto shutoff function. You don't want to accidentally get burned while you're sleeping with it at night, so that is a must if you're going to be using an electric heating pad. A microwavable rice sock or rice bag can be wonderful in this way in that it will just cool down and doesn't have the potential for burning you. I recently bought myself a weighted blanket and it has completely changed the game in terms of my quality of sleep. If you are struggling with restless legs or tossing and turning a lot or any anxiety, I would highly, highly suggest that you give a weighted blanket a try. You want to look up what size is best for you. They have different weights and they'll judge it based on your body weight. So go with your current pregnancy weight or anticipated pregnancy weight. You tend to want the heavier size instead of the lighter size to get the most benefit from the weighted blanket. We have already talked a little bit about limiting exposure from blue light before bed, but I find that keeping my room really dark and limiting exposure from any light in my bedroom makes a big difference on whether I sleep soundly through the night or not. I went after all of my electronics with electrical tape and covered any lights. It seems that everything has a light and a sensor on it these days, so I just covered up all of those lights so that my room can really be black. I also use blackout curtains, or a sleep mask can really go a long way. I have this fantastically comfortable soft sleep mask that has Bluetooth headphones inside of it, so I get the added bonus of covering my eyes and limiting the light while also being able to listen to something soothing while I'm sleeping. I found listening to guided meditations or affirmations can be really helpful, especially in first falling asleep or getting back to sleep if you're having a hard time. You got up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and you're having a hard time falling back to sleep. I like to be bossed into relaxing, so I find that a good guided 
sleep talk down or again just even positive affirmations if you have a lot of anxiety and thoughts that are keeping you awake replacing these with something positive and relaxing can go a long way just in helping you wind down and get to sleep. I have also found that white noise or sleep music can be really helpful to have on in the background. So I have a white noise machine that I pop on before I go to sleep, but you can also just use your phone or computer to have some ambient noise on in the background to help you stay asleep. In the same realm, I have found that sleeping with earplugs or headphones might be beneficial. Sleep positions can also be very important in helping you get comfortable to fall asleep and stay asleep. If you need some inspiration, check out my sleep positions video posted below. Those are some of my favorite sleep hacks to help me get a good night's rest. I would love to hear what works for you. Comment below.